Hey there, everybody. I'll try to cut out the spoilers and try to make this uh, probably as short and as uh, sweet as I possibly can. Um, have you ever had one of those games that's really amazing, that's exciting, that makes you really enjoy doing these uh, baseball simulations? Because I tell you, we had one today. If you haven't watched it yet, you've got to go and watch uh, this morning's broadcast because it really is something special. You ever have one of those games? You ever have one of those games that makes you think, you know, this is the reason why I do this, and you never know what's going to happen, and, you know, anything is possible when you play through these I don't know about you guys, but for me, really, that's the thing I think more than anything else that keeps me um, going with these simulations and keeps me going with all this stuff. I've mentioned it before. You can find people on various message boards, younger people, people my age, and some even younger on Reddit. You can find people on the out of the park baseball message board and occasionally though not that frequently on places like tabletop sports who will tell you that if the ratings are correct um, and uh, if everything is done the way that it happened in real life then you won't see any variance in your game and it's no fun anymore those of you who remember the old uh, skeeter soft message boards and uh, good old uncle honus who i think passed away several years ago he used to talk about his famous um, uh, imaginary boards where you just take a look at the uh, retro sheet play by play total and that's what happens in your replay can't get more realistic than that but I tell you, you can see it in your mind's eye when you uh, slow down a little bit and when you uh, really play the game and sort of enjoy it and get a lot of the marrow out of it. And that's when you can really see the big comeback happening or you can see the uh, man on the mound starting to perspire and the uh, heat of the day starting to get to him and everything start to fall apart. And that's when it becomes really, really interesting. That is exactly what we had this morning. I tell you, my goodness, that was um, a game like I never would have believed. And uh, you really need to go down and sit down and watch it. But yeah, I'm curious to know, do you ever have that sort of thing happen? Do you ever have one of those games that is so amazing and so enthralling uh, that, uh, I mean, you just, you want to keep going, you want to keep playing, you want to see more, right? Ever have one of those games where it looks like a team is completely overpowered and that they don't stand a chance and the next thing you know, they've come back to win it? Ever have one of those uh, seasons, ever have one of those simulations where a team that wasn't supposed to win it ended up winning it, or you started to make new heroes out of guys who are long forgotten? It happens from time to time, and uh, there are questions about what to do. Did you do something wrong, right? Did you uh, offend the uh, uh, baseball simulation police? Did you play somebody more frequently than you should have? Did you do something like that? It happens from time to time, you know. Personally, I prefer to um, give myself as much leeway as possible within reason. I mean, we're not going to uh, take guys who had two um, at-bats in real life and, uh, you know, play them a full season because they hit 500. I can tell you stories about that one because I've seen that happen. I've seen uh, the computer manager actually in Diamond Mine Baseball do that. Um, but that's not quite what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about, you know, those guys who are unheralded, who you don't know very much about, who uh, have a surprise good season for you, or one of those teams that um, you never would have thought would have won anything that ends up winning it. I would mentioned out of the park baseball. I'll tell you one thing I saw a couple years back when I was looking to, to see if I could tell much about its historical accuracy, what we consider to be accuracy, which is another video in and of itself. Um, I saw that somebody had done an automatic uh, 1966 season replay, I think, with Out of the Park Baseball. I think they may have even used real-life lineups and transactions. And the New York Yankees won the American League pennant. And I looked at that, and I thought, well, that's a red flag. <laughs> I mean, because in real life, you know, if the 66 Yankees had won the American League pennant, that would have changed the course of American League history, right? I mean, the Yankees needed to sort of fall apart. You needed to have Baltimore come up, and you needed to have, you know, the uh, the spoils be shared among different American League teams. That has a lot to do with uh, how the uh, history of baseball went forward, right? If the Yankees were actually successful in the late 60s, you know, do uh, as many people watch the Mets as watch them? Does Yankee Stadium even get that big facelift and that big renovation? Things might be a lot different today if that were the case. So I have a couple things to think about, and that's kind of the joy of doing these simulations, right? Playing the old what-if game. You know, there's a lot of that, what they call counterfactual history that goes on. Um, there are other games that I enjoy playing from time to time that um, explore this. You look at, like, Hearts of Iron or uh, Victoria or some of the other Paradox um, uh, interactive games. But there's nothing quite like a baseball replay in terms of uh, the uh, counterfactual history where you really can make a little difference if you want, or you can just play the season again and see what happens the second time or the third time, right? Now, those of you who are fans of some of the hard luck teams in baseball history ought to beware. 
if you're a San Francisco Giants fan, for example, you might want to play 1993 a couple uh, dozen times to see how many times they beat out Atlanta. Um, if you're a fan of uh, the uh, New York Giants, um, you might want to play 1908 again and see um, if they can't beat out the Cubs since the Giants did have the better Pythagorean uh, winning uh, percentage and um, had really the better offense that season. It's all sorts of different things that you can do, but uh, the things that I really like, as I've said before, are things like, you know, the... 1949 Pittsburgh Pirates or the New York Giants uh, winding up in first place. I know it's only May 20th, but humor me a little bit, right? It's kind of fun to see these teams that were um, under 500 in real life end up uh, being on top of the National League. I'll enjoy it while it lasts. Anyway, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the subject, what you think about all this stuff, but um, it's just stuff like that, games like that one this morning that really make this um, hobby something special. I'll talk to all of you later. Bye-bye.